In this video, I'll show you how to stretch the letters of your text within After Effects. To begin with, I'm gonna to go to the type tool, type in some text, and the key to stretching letters within After Effects is to go to your text layer, right click, and go to create, create shapes from text. It will uneyeball your text layer and create your shape layers. The next step is to animate or keyframe the paths of our letters. And the easiest way to find those is to go to the search bar and type in path. So now we have access to all of the paths of each specific letter. Now, if this was something like the letter B, you're gonna have multiple paths for that letter because you have that little negative space in between the letter. But because this word doesn't have any letters that have negative space, we have one path for each letter. To animate a technique like this, it's always best to start from the end and work your way backwards. I'm gonna to go to the one second mark on my timeline and just click and drag down on the paths for every single letter. So now whatever we do in this section, we know that we're going to end up with the text in the middle. So I'm gonna move my playhead over here to the middle mark on the 12. Down here in my text outline, I'm gonna click and highlight all of these letters. And now I have access to all of these little points on the path of the letters. So let's say I wanted to stretch this E. So all I have to do is kind of click here on the E and now I can click specific points. But what I wanna do, click and drag and highlight all of these points from this section onward so I can click and stretch like so. In order to keep this straight, I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and now I am stretching the E and moving all of these paths. And then I'll copy the keyframes from the end and paste them at the beginning so we can start and end from the same place. It stretches and goes back. In order to hold the stretch on the E a little bit longer, I'll copy my middle keyframes, go a couple more frames into the timeline and paste them so it holds that in that middle section right there. Now I wanna mess with how these animate outward and inward. So I'm gonna highlight all of my keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. You could also do F9 as a keyboard shortcut. At this point, the T does not move, so I actually don't need this keyframe. I'll highlight all of these keyframes, go to my graph editor and make sure that I'm looking at edit speed graph. One quick tip here is instead of clicking and dragging every single keyframe, all I need to do is highlight all of them. So I'm gonna click and drag on all of the keyframes and now it will move every single one like such. I like that kind of movement. Now that you have the basic concept of how to animate this, the sky's the limit on how creative you can get with where you take these paths. So maybe I'll move these keyframes a little bit more over here. I'll go to the path on the T. I'm just clicking here on the T so that I can have access to these keyframes. Sometimes what happens is you'll be clicking around and then it will move the whole thing, which is something that you don't want. So what I like to do is just click on the T here in the contents and that way I have access to these little nodes. Another thing is you could double click on just the letter and hold shift so I just have these keyframes. And then I'll play around with the movement of the keyframes until something looks right to me. So far, this is what we have. Another technique that you saw in the beginning of the video is having these as a stroke as opposed to with them filled. And a quick way to do that is to duplicate your text shape layer. So I'm going to hit Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. And with this second layer, I'm going to look up the word stroke and turn that on. So we'll turn on the stroke for each letter there. And then I'll look up the word fill and turn that off on this second layer. If I were to uneyeball this, and because my stroke is black, you're not actually seeing it right now. So I'm going to change that by highlighting all those strokes and switching it to white and make it a little bit thicker. So let me do something like seven. We have that same effect, but it has a stroke. So I have these two layers here. One is with the fill layer on and one has the stroke. And this is where you can get even more creative by using mats in between here. What I did was go up to my rectangle tool and without any of your layers selected, I'm gonna create a little shape layer here. And what I intend to do with this shape layer as a mat is animate it over the T in the beginning. So as this E gets stretched, the T will then look like a stroke, but the rest of the word will have solid. And then as the E comes in, everything will turn into a stroke. So with the shape layer highlighted, I'm going to hit 
P to bring up my position. And with my text outline shapes, I'm going to hit U so I can see all of my keyframes for my paths. Again, another good tip is to toggle on your position where you want the shape to end up. So I know I want it to end up over both of these. And now I'm going to go to the beginning and start my animation. So I'll move my shape layer over. I'm just holding shift so it stays in a straight line. And remember, as the E goes over, that's when I'm going to go over the T. So at this point right here, I want it to just be over the T. Then I want to hold that position until the E goes back. So right about there. So I'm going to highlight this keyframe, hit Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows and paste it with Command V or Control V on Windows. And then as it goes back, it's going to go over the whole word. Another thing that I want to do is mimic the keyframe velocity as down here. So I'm going to highlight all these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then remember, I'm going to highlight all of them and bring the handles to the center. So it has this little hilly look. And now we have something like this. Oh, it moved, but that's okay. What we want to do is highlight this one and do toggle whole keyframe. So now it will hold this value until it moves at the end. So I know this could seem a little confusing because you can't really see what's going on since I'm using both white, but right here, what I'm going to do is duplicate this shape layer and move it above my second text outline. Let me relabel this. So my fill layer is down here and my stroke layer is on the top. And now what we want to do is bring up our toggle switch mode. So you want to make sure that you can see your track map. If you can't see that, just toggle switch modes right there. And on the text stroke, what I'm going to do is alpha mat. And just so you can see what's happening, this is exactly what I wanted to happen. See how it pops in now. And then on these two, the text fill, I'm going to do alpha inverted mat. So it will show everything that's not inside the map. So here we go. And that is the basic concept of how I created this little bit more of a complex animation. The same concepts are here. I just added a little bit more to the animation and movement of all of the text layers. But hopefully by showing you those two techniques, you now have a better concept of how to stretch your letters within After Effects. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. My name's Javier Mercedes. I normally do video editing tutorials and gear reviews on this channel. If you're into that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.